Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture on pediatrics instruments. So in this I thought I would explain about the self inflating bag or ambu bag. So this is self inflating bag or also called as ambu bag. Okay. So what is this self inflating bag or ambu bag? So the main parts of self inflating bag are it has a patient outlet to which the mask is attached. So this is the outlet. Okay, this is patient outlet. To this patient outlet we attach a mask. It is a one way valve unit. And then there is also a pressure release valve. In the pressure release valve there is attachment of manometer. Okay, there is also pressure release valve. Now, it has two inlets. One for the oxygen from the cylinder. See, this is the oxygen. Okay, so this is outlet. So this is inlet. In the inlet it has mainly two inlets. Okay. Two. One for oxygen cylinder. It is attached to the oxygen cylinder. Anything oxygen cylinder or oxygen uh, uh, lining tube or anything. Okay. For, uh, it, uh, inlet uh, in one is a line. Its oxygen uh, cylinder is attached, and to the other other, it is called as air inlet. Okay, the oxygen cylinder is attached to oxygen inlet. We call it as oxygen inlet, and air cylinder is uh, air is at air uh, inlet. There is air inlet. Air inlet. If air inlet is kept open, then um, the concentration of oxygen reaching the patient will be a forty percent. If this is kept open, if air inlet is open, then. Um, 40% of FiO2 fraction of inspired oxygen will be 40%. If only oxygen cylinder it will be 90 to 100%. FiO2. Okay. Now what is the mechanism of ventilation of ambu bag? Now at resting stage this ambu bag it is filled with air. Okay. Now at resting stage it is filled with air on squeezing or oxygen. It can be air or oxygen. It is filled with air or oxygen. Now on squeezing the bag. To initiate the ventilation, one wave valve proximal to the patient outlet opens. The one way valve which is there here, so this will open. This leads to the release of air from the uh, bag to the patient. Okay, now you have uh, pressed it. Now you have released it. On releasing it, the bag is reinflated with air from the inlet or either from the oxygen inlet or from the air inlet. Either from the oxygen inlet or from the air inlet, the va the uh, bag is filled. Okay, the patient ex exhaled air will not enter the ambu bag because of this one-way valve mechanism. Okay, so here there is also, as I have said, there is one-way valve mechanism. Okay, so these are the important things. So let me just uh, write the mechanism. So on uh, squeezing, on squeezing the bag, okay, so you have squeezed the bag, think that this is uh, the oxygen mask, this is the patient, the air enters the patient, air to the baby. It can be oxygen or air to the baby. And then releasing the bag. Think that this is oxygen cylinder and this is the ambu bag you have released. And now the oxygen to the baby. On releasing the ba ba bag, oxygen goes to the bag. But um, a released expired carbon dioxide this does not reach the bag why because of one way mechanism 
because of the one way mechanism the bag uh, the, the carbon dioxide which is there that will not reach the bag okay now what is this what are the uses of this uh, uh, ambu bag the uses of this ambu bag is for resuscitation okay as i have said there is also oxygen reservoir which is attached so this oxygen reservoir it has um two ends for the oxygen reservoir one end this is the oxygen reservoir think that one end is connected to ambu bag okay one end of oxygen reservoir it is connected to ambu bag whereas the other end it is left open okay what is the uses of oxygen reservoir this is uh, to keep the inspired oxygen oxygen fraction of inspired oxygen 40 to 90% it should not be less than 40 it should not be more than 90 in ambu bag okay so this is about the ambu bag i think you guys have understood about ambu bag so ambu bag is a self retaining uh, bag here it has two uh, ends in one end you have patient outlet which is connected to the mask on the other end there is patient inlet in the patient inlet it has an oxygen cylinder attached and also air inlet oxygen cylinder is attached so there is oxygen inlet so because when only oxygen cylinder is attached so this will uh give uh, oxygen of 90 to 100% of fio2 if it is attached to air inlet air inlet is open in such cases 40% of inspired oxygen fraction is uh, retained uh, so this is what happens on squeezing the bag if you squeeze the bag the all the air which is present in the bag it goes into the mask and the baby can in inspire it okay that occurs on squeezing the bag on releasing the bag this expired air will not reach the bag because of this one way mechanism but the oxygen from the oxygen reservoir the air enters the bag so that the uh, air uh, reaches the baby so this is about the ambu bag i think you guys have understood something about ambu bag so thank you guys for watching my lecture